For decades, the United States has been the world's leading innovator, home to groundbreaking advancements in technology and the birthplace of many of the world's most influential tech companies. However, a new wave of technological advancement is emerging from the East, particularly from China, which is rapidly becoming a formidable player in the global tech arena. China, with its vast resources, strategic investments, and rapidly developing tech sector, is transferring its innovations to the United States at an unprecedented rate. This transfer is not just about products but also about knowledge, expertise and cutting-edge research. This flow of technology is reshaping industries, challenging traditional economic models, and creating both opportunities and challenges for the United States. American companies are adopting Chinese innovations to enhance their competitiveness, while also facing the pressure to keep up with the rapid pace of technological change. This transfer of technology is not a one-way street. It represents a complex interplay of factors, including China's ambition to become a global technology leader, and the mutual benefits that arise from international collaboration. China's ambition to become a global technology leader is evident in its significant investments in research and development, its support for tech startups, and its strategic partnerships with international firms. The globalization of research and development has led to a more interconnected world, where ideas and innovations flow across borders more freely than ever before. This interconnectedness is driving technological progress at a pace that was unimaginable just a few decades ago. The increasing interconnectedness of the world's economies means that technological advancements in one country can have far-reaching impacts on others. This global network of innovation is creating new opportunities for collaboration and competition. Understanding the dynamics of this transfer is crucial for policymakers, business leaders, and anyone invested in the future of the global technology landscape. It requires a nuanced approach that balances the benefits of technological exchange with the need to protect national interests. The implications of this tech transfer are far-reaching. It has the potential to boost United States economic growth by providing access to cutting-edge technologies and fostering new industries. American startups and established companies alike are leveraging these innovations to drive growth and stay competitive in the global market. The influx of Chinese technology can lead to the creation of new jobs, the development of new products, and the opening of new markets. However, it also comes with challenges that need to be addressed. However, it also raises concerns about job displacement, intellectual property protection, and the potential for China to surpass the United States in key technological areas. The automation of manufacturing processes, for example, could lead to job losses in certain sectors, while the transfer of intellectual property could undermine the competitive advantage of American firms. As China continues to climb the global rankings of technological advancements, the United States must navigate this complex landscape with strategic foresight and adaptability. The future of global technology leadership will depend on how well these two giants can manage their technological interdependence and competition. Central to understanding China's tech transfer is recognizing the scale of its investment in technological development. Over the past decade, China has poured billions of dollars into its tech sector, aiming to not only catch up with but surpass Western technological capabilities. The Chinese government has made it a national priority to become a global leader in artificial intelligence, robotics, biotechnology, and other advanced industries. This is not just about economic growth, it's about national security and global influence. This ambition is clearly outlined in the Made in China 2025 initiative, a strategic plan to transform China from a manufacturing giant into a global technology powerhouse. The initiative aims to reduce China's dependency on foreign technology and to promote homegrown innovations. The initiative provides substantial government support, including funding for research and development, which has led to significant advancements in various fields. Chinese researchers are now at the forefront of cutting-edge technologies, from quantum computing to renewable energy solutions. Tax incentives for tech companies have also played a crucial role. These incentives make it easier for startups and established firms alike to invest in new technologies and expand their operations. Additionally, the creation of special economic zones dedicated to technological innovation has provided a fertile ground for tech companies to thrive. These zones offer state-of-the-art infrastructure 
and a business-friendly environment. These efforts have resulted in a surge of Chinese companies investing in United States tech startups, research institutions, and established companies. This cross-border investment is fostering a new era of collaboration and competition. This wave of investment is not limited to Silicon Valley. Chinese investors are exploring opportunities in tech hubs across the United States from Boston to Austin and even emerging tech cities like Denver and Raleigh. Chinese companies are establishing research centers, acquiring startups, and forming strategic partnerships with American firms. These collaborations are driving innovation and creating new business opportunities. Partnering with universities across the United States has also been a key strategy. These partnerships are not only advancing research but also providing valuable educational exchanges and training opportunities for the next generation of tech leaders. This influx of capital and expertise is changing the face of American innovation with both positive and potentially disruptive consequences. While it brings new resources and ideas, it also raises questions about intellectual property, national security, and the future of global tech leadership. China's tech transfer to the United States takes many forms. One prominent channel is through joint ventures where Chinese and American companies collaborate on research and development projects. These partnerships allow Chinese firms to access American expertise and technology, while American companies gain a foothold in the rapidly growing Chinese market. Another key channel is talent acquisition. Chinese companies are actively recruiting top engineers, scientists, and researchers from Silicon Valley and other tech hubs. These individuals bring with them valuable knowledge and experience which can then be transferred back to China. Finally, Chinese companies are increasingly acquiring American tech companies. These acquisitions provide access to intellectual property, talent pools, and established market share. While these acquisitions can be mutually beneficial, they also raise concerns about the potential loss of American control over critical technologies. The Double-Edged Sword Impact on American Innovation and Jobs The relationship between the United States and China in the tech sector is complex and multifaceted. China's tech transfer to the United States presents a double-edged sword. While it brings opportunities for growth and collaboration, it also introduces significant challenges. On the one hand, it can drive innovation and economic growth by providing access to new technologies and fostering competition. American companies can benefit from the influx of new ideas and advanced technologies, which can lead to the development of cutting-edge products and services. But on the other hand, it raises concerns about job displacement, national security, and the potential for China to surpass the United States in key technological areas. The fear is that American workers may find themselves out of jobs as companies move production overseas to take advantage of lower costs. One of the most pressing concerns is the potential for job displacement. The shift in production can lead to factory closures and a decline in manufacturing jobs, which has a ripple effect on local economies and communities. As Chinese companies gain access to American technology and expertise, they may be able to produce goods and services more cheaply, potentially leading to job losses in the United States. This competitive edge can make it difficult for American companies to compete, resulting in layoffs and reduced job opportunities. Furthermore, the transfer of sensitive technologies such as artificial intelligence and quantum computing raises national security concerns. These advanced technologies have the potential to be used in military applications which could pose a threat to national security if they fall into the wrong hands. The United States government is increasingly scrutinizing Chinese investments in these areas to prevent the transfer of technologies that could be used for military purposes. This scrutiny includes tighter regulations and increased oversight to ensure that critical technologies remain secure and do not compromise national security. Balancing the benefits of technological collaboration with the need to protect American jobs and national security is a delicate task. Policymakers must navigate this complex landscape to ensure that the United States remains competitive while safeguarding its economic and security interests. Ultimately, the impact of China's tech transfer on American innovation and jobs will depend on how effectively the United States can manage these challenges and leverage the opportunities for growth and collaboration. The future of American innovation and job security hinges on finding the right balance in this intricate relationship. Navigating the future managing tech transfer and international cooperation 
Given the complex and evolving nature of China's tech transfer to the United States, it is crucial to develop effective strategies for managing this process and fostering international cooperation. This requires a nuanced approach that balances the benefits of collaboration with the need to protect national interests. One key area of focus is intellectual property protection. The United States government needs to ensure that American companies' intellectual property rights are protected when they engage in joint ventures or technology transfers with Chinese partners. Another important aspect is fostering a level playing field for competition. The United States government should work to ensure that Chinese companies operating in the United States are subject to the same regulations and standards as American companies. The U.S. response adapting to a new era of competition. The rise of China as a technological powerhouse presents both challenges and opportunities for the United States. To maintain its competitive edge, the United States needs to adapt to this new reality and develop strategies to foster innovation and economic growth. One crucial step is to increase investment in education and research and development. The United States government should prioritize funding for STEM education, basic research, and the development of cutting-edge technologies. Furthermore, the United States needs to streamline its immigration policies to attract and retain top talent from around the world. This includes making it easier for highly skilled workers to obtain visas and creating a more welcoming environment for foreign entrepreneurs. Cooperation, not conflict, finding common ground for shared progress. While competition between the United States and China in the technology sector is inevitable, it is essential to find areas of common ground and foster cooperation. Both countries share common challenges, such as climate change, global health security, and the need for sustainable development. By working together on these shared challenges, the United States and China can leverage their respective strengths and resources to develop innovative solutions that benefit both countries and the world. Open dialogue, mutual understanding, and a commitment to finding common ground are essential for navigating the complexities of tech transfer and ensuring a future of shared progress.